Ni hao. Tian Tian Hao. And welcome to episode 53 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going, going to be on cooking tools and uh, some of the utensils, well, a couple of the utensils that uh, you use in cooking. Um, it's just a build up to get to the cooking episode because there are lots of different areas in cooking. Well, there's a few specific areas that deserve their own episodes as as in um, one for brewing one for actually cooking food and um, I'll surprise you with the other one well might be two but there we go anyway so there we go right well let's start by saying sorry for the long delay in the episodes this year has had a fantastic start so far so how about you how's your uh, 2016 going. I hope that uh, you're also having a lovely uh, start to the year. Let's explain to you though why the beginning of this year is fantastic for me. Well it started off at Christmas in actual fact. As I mentioned previously a, ven a friend visited and uh, gave me a cold which I can only say to you turned out to be more comparable to the Black Death to a plague because it totally wiped me out and as you can tell in the last episode I was even going delirious by starting to talk about USB yeah uh, in this episode I might treat you to talking about um, monologue modems from the early 90s and do some of the screeching noise that they made while trying to connect you know the ee anyway let's not go there so that's the first thing it starts off with me having the plague and it then drastically improves by me finding out that I'm lost 50% of my work because I'm self-employed so I find out in a nice little letter we won't be needing your services anymore because I'm self-employed in what I do for my uh, job. So there's number two. And they say, don't they, things always come in freeze. So the plague, losing most of my work. And the third one, let's have that drum roll. I'm going to be homeless in six months' time. So how wonderful is all of that? How fantastic is that? Now you think I'm being facetious, when in actual fact I'm not, and I'll explain why. For me, personally, let's face it, I'm crazy, I'm mad, so whatever I'm about to say to you, you just have to bear that in the back of your mind, which you realise already, okay? Because I was going to say at the beginning of this episode, the gamester is back and bad, but that would be wrong, because it would have to have been, he's back and mad. Anyway, so... Why is it fantastic? It's fantastic because since I've been doing this, I started doing the, uh, making YouTube videos, as you, most of you are probably aware, on October the 21st in 2015. And I did it just because uh, I knew that Worm Unlimited was going to be coming out. And I did some, you'll notice I did uh, a few videos on other games. That was just a practice run to start doing videos on Worm. And I wanted to do it on Worm just to share my love of the game because it's vastly, vastly unknown. Hardly anyone knows about Worm Online or Worm Unlimited. And yet it should be right up there with, with all the top games, but it's not. I mean, you see other games, they have millions of players. Worm has thousands, it's ridiculous. It's one of the best games uh, that's, in my opinion, it's one of the best games that's ever been released. So, so anyway, cool, wow, I'm waffling that much that I'm straying off my subject of, I'm losing track now. Oh yeah, I'm back on form, all right, I've lost the plot already. And what am I, five minutes in? So, what was I saying? So yeah, I started on Worm just to share my love of the game. And then, after a couple of weeks, I noticed, you know, I expected to get abused, big time. I expected, I mean, especially with, like, the way my video started, like, with episode three, with the bottom of the screen cut off, and uh, 
some of the episodes where I'm just blatantly saying hello, 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 and repeating myself, sounding like a answer machine that's gone mad, and and all of the other mistakes. Oh, there's too many mistakes to list to you. So I expected to take a fall big time. I expected to do about ten episodes, and that was it. You know, just you know, all of you pleading with me to stop, but you didn't. And it's just like got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And my work's evaporated around me. And uh, I don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm perfectly happy with the work that I still have being self-employed. It's enough to pay the bills and to survive with. But you're, the response I've had from people like you, really nice people, has made me think, this is, I'm really enjoying this. Let's face it, no one could stay up all night, record a video, then go to work if they didn't really enjoy something. Well, all right, I am mental, but but my point is, I enjoy this. So, so what I want to get to, the, the point that I'm getting to here is that I want to develop this more. Now, I told you that I'm going to do a video series, how to make videos, because I wanted to do that. Uh, from the beginning and that's why I left the episodes the beginning episodes of Worm with the mistakes in it because of all the difficulties I had and because of uh, searching for count countless hours on the internet and finding all different contradictions regarding it I thought that people when you watch my Worm series you'll realize that uh, when I'm trying to give you information it's to the best of my knowledge and it's certainly not going to be misleading on purpose or inaccurate on purpose although yes it I'm not always right but I tried to correct it as you know so anyway so that's why I'm gonna do as that series which is gonna I'm gonna do when I've finished the worm ones but so here's the point for telling you all of this and waffling on and on and on and sorry for that I want to now I don't want to build up what I've managed to do all this hard work building building up all you lovely wonderful viewers following me and then make a turkey series on a game that no one's interested in I and then you'll all stop subscribing to me and then I'll the gamester will go down the pan literally he will go down the pan and we'll be using a pan in the next episode but anyway so we don't want the gamester to take a dive big time we don't want him with a bowl on the street in six months time begging so Here's what I want you to help me with. I want you to help me choose the next game I'm going to do a video series on. Okay, so I'm going to do a full, I'm going to continue doing Worm Unlimited and I'm going to do every single skill that can be done and additional ones that, you know, there's going to be loads more on Worm Unlimited. Then I'm going to do make how to make a video. Then that's where you come in. I want you to send me a message in YouTube, send me a message, and I realize it's hassle for you. Listen, if you like what I'm doing, then you have a choice. Don't recommend a game, and I'll choose one, which then I could fail horribly wrong, because it, it could be a game that you, none of you are interested in, or simply send me a message with just the name of the game that's all you got to do i'm not asking you to send me lots and lots of text just tell me a game that you know of that, that i'm going to list i'm going to list by the way sorry i'm going to list some following games and i want you to choose one as the next game that I, I do a video series on here's the list of games number one life is feudal it's a survival game very much like Worm. If you would like me to do a video series on that at a later date, please just send me a message saying life is feudal. Okay, the next game, The Witcher 3. It, uh, reading some of the reviews, one of the reviews said it's the best game ever made, so well, we'll see. I did like Witcher 1 and I did like Witcher 2. I love RPGs, I'm a RPG buff. So if you want it to be The Witcher 3, send me a message just saying The Witcher 3. Okay, the next one is a whole series of games. Uh, while I've been sick and ill and couldn't record, I took a time out from Worm and I started playing some spiderweb games. I played, um, first of all I played one and then I'm, I'm currently playing the Vernum 4. 
again a Vernon 4 is like Baldur's Gate it's an RPG it's got basic graphics but oh my goodness the gameplay is off the scales I'm totally addicted to it just like worm so if you would like to like uh, the next series to be on the Avernum and Spiderweb games which will be many 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 series because there's loads of games for the spiderwebs to say spiderweb games the next game Ark it's a survival game with dinosaurs uh, with um, trade skilling in it if you'd like the next series to be on Ark send me a message saying Ark uh, the next game Planet Explorers it's a survival game set on a distant planet that you crash land on uh, with uh, trade skilling and survival just like um, lots of these games if you'd like the next series to be on that to say Planet Explorers the next game Reign of Kings another survival game if you'd like the next series to be on that say Reign of Kings the next one now the next one I'm not sure about because there's been lots of people that have done it already but it's up to you the viewer if you the next one is seven days to die if you'd like the next series to be on seven days to die seven days to die well I've probably got seven days to die if I had any sense anyway if you'd like it to be on that say seven days to die and last but not least Minecraft now there's been loads there are loads of people doing Minecraft but there are not loads doing feed the beast monster which has 188 mods. Oh yeah, Gamester's going to do it big time, if that's what you choose. So there's the list of games. Please help me out by just telling me what game I should do next. I don't expect nothing from any of you. Any of you. Um, but if you want to help me, and help me big time, if you watch this video, and you haven't turned it off because I've waffled too much, please help me by telling me the next game to do. A really quick few seconds of your time to send me a message and I would really appreciate it right sorry about that let's continue on I've gone on for far too long so one more thing thank you to Anthers for the lovely gift that he sent me you know what it was Anthers thank you very much for that that was very very sweet of you and thank you to all of you for your continued watching and support truly amazing worm family that we have here thank you very much okay oh just to mention when I'm doing these other s series on other games I will still be playing worm obviously right okay so here's the list of the cooking tools that it lists off on wormpedia because after all this is supposed to be an episode on cooking tools Okay, we have the cauldron, which we've made already. We've got a fruit press, which we will do, I will cover in the brewing, brewing episode of beverages. Uh, next, we've got the frying pan, which we will be covering in this episode. The pottery bowl, I'm not sure if I've done, made one of them already. I will have to check that. Uh, next one is a pottery flask, not sure if I've made one of them yet. Pottery jar, not sure if I've made one of them yet. And the saucepan, which we'll be covering in this episode as well. And also in this episode, we'll be making an oven. So, there we go. There's all the different tools. So, we're going to start by making a saucepan. Okay, so now I've already heated up the forge. I've got some iron in there ready. So, that makes up for all the waffling that I've been doing. Let's light my pumpkin as well, just so I know that you can all see. Because that would help. There we go. I don't have no idea why I've got this pumpkin in my pocket. Oh, I'll give that to the dogs. Right, okay, so we have light on the subject. So we're going to make a frying pan to start with. Let's get rid of that. Let's open up the recipe window frying pan is going to be the most used tool that you will use in worm you're going to make possibly 40 frying pans i'll get to that the reason why uh, in a moment so let's get the crafting window up let's get the recipe window and let's bring up the frying pan there we go so for the frying pan we need an iron lump which i've got and the larger anvil so we will add the frying pan to the crafting window oh apologies let's move that 
Okay, so now we need to add the large anvil. And now we need to choose the uh, frying pan. Okay, let's now create a frying pan. I'm only going to make one, but like I say, you will be making 20 to 40. Why? Because you're going to want to, at some point, train up your cooking skills, which when we get to the cooking episode, you will see why you'll want loads of frying pans. I'll put that in there for now. I'm going to imp that up and improve it. Right, okay, so the usage for the frying pan is to cook meals and stews. The quality level of the frying pan also affects the chance to get the maximum quality meal cooked in it. Uh, it's also uh, the skills, it, the cook, the quality level is also capped by your hot food cooking skill. So if we go over to here to, to cooking, hot food cooking skill caps it as well. So the quality level of your frying pan and your hot food cooking skill. Then two, you want to get up because meals is the only food you're going to be eating from now on. Well from when we get to the cooking episode. Still casseroles just for another episode and then we're gonna move on to meals. Why? Because it's the best food for getting your nutrition up. That's what's the name of this game. Getting your nutrition as high as you can so you don't have to eat that much, that often. So there we go. We're gonna be seriously training up the cooking skill and training, uh, getting our, imping up our frying pan. Okay, um, the next thing to say about the frying pan, the higher the quality, the quicker it heats up. There's another reason to get your quality level of your frying pan as high as you can, because it will heat up quicker in the oven. And let's see, max quality possible of the frying pan on creation is equal to one fifth of your blacksmithing skill. So you've been training your blacksmithing, because I've been getting you to imp up your tools, your weapons, your um, all the things that you've been using with regards to metal. So hopefully your blacksmithing skill is getting up nicely. What's mine on? Mine is on 50. So there we go, we're getting there. Okay, so moving on. Next then we're going to make a saucepan. So let's bring up the recipe window, which is there. Let's type in S-A-U. There's a saucepan. We need an iron lump and a large anvil. So we'll add the saucepan. We will add the large anvil. And now we will choose the saucepan. Let's now create. And there we go. There's our saucepan. Okay, so with regards to the saucepan, the usage for that, it's used to create stews, goulashes, and tea. It holds a maximum of 2.54 kilograms of liquid. Gamester, you fool, you've just told us a minute ago we're only gonna be eating meals from now on. Well, hold on a minute, what about taming? I've already told you in the previous episode the best thing to use for that is huge um, goulashes. Was it goulashes or casseroles? Anyway, I've told you previously. So there we go. There's a saucepan. It's not redundant. Can be used for making a cup of tea. I mean, come on. If in England a lot of people drink tea. I don't. I'm a coffee drinker. But the running joke used to be about English people drinking tea. So there we go. You can make your tea in one. Right. Okay. Moving on. Next, we are going to make an oven. And for the oven, I believe I'm totally unprepared for it because I haven't got any of the materials ready. Thankfully, thankfully, my only saving grace is that it uses clay, which I just now need to play around finding where I've put my clay. Oh, let's put the iron lump back. You see, it's all you have. You have a break, and then it all falls to pieces. That's what happens. You get out the out of the rhythm of it all. I'm trying to have a jig round my cart now. Oh goodness sake! Let's get on. Right. So I'm looking for my clay. I can't remember what quality level it is. It's not there. Was it quality level twenty? 
Ah, oh, there's my clay. Right, to make the oven, we are going to need, I believe, 22 clay. So let's grab 22. And we are going to need 11 stone bricks. Oh, I hope I've got bricks. I really don't want you to have to watch me make bricks. Although I really will have no choice. I will use my best quality bricks even. That's how desperate I am. Oh, wait a minute. It's called stone bricks. Silly, silly me. Right, so we're looking for stone bricks. Oh, see, this is the downside to having about 10 different bulk storage bins all around you. Oh, it's not looking great so far. Oh, come on, stone bricks. I know I've made loads of you. Stone bricks. Oh, right. Well, that's three less I don't have to make. Or won't have to make. We need 11 bricks in total. So that's them. That was the 40s. Let's see if I've got any in here. No, no stone bricks. What about 50s? Until I'm getting desperate if, when I'm willing to go to my 50s. Ah, oh, stone... Oh, one. Well, still one I don't have to make. It doesn't take long to make bricks. But... I've wasted so much of your time already on this episode, but it was necessary, so don't you go having a go at me. You know the game's the waffles, you can't help it. Right, okay, so, plan B, find rock shards. Because I now need to make some, yeah, here we go, right, let's grab a load of them. Oh, goodness me, oh well. If I can't deal with being caught off guard, then I really haven't improved. Okay, so stone bricks, stone chisel, and rock shards. What we'll do, we'll combine them first. Now we'll add the stone brick. Okay, okay. I need to make seven. Won't take long. Oh, I need to be on solid ground. Only the gamester would try to do it from his car. Cool, look at that. Don't take long at all. I don't even know why I was panicking. So, I think we got enough. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's make this oven. Now, I'm not making the oven here, because that really would be insane. I mean, look at it. There's stuff everywhere. You ain't even seen all the rubbish on the ground that I've been dumping. There is stuff everywhere. Right, let's go over here. I've got my delightful pumpkin to light the way. Apologies if it is dark. I don't believe so, though. I believe that pumpkin lights it up enough for you to see. I'm going to pull it right in the middle of my farm because I am a complete nutter nutter. So it's going to be right in the middle of my fields and actually next to my food storage bin. So, the lot, so there. Right, OK. I'll pull it just here. Yep, that'll do nicely. Is it close enough to the food storage bin? No. All right, I'll do it there. Right, okay, so let's grab some clay. Let's grab some bricks. Oops, let's use the recipe window, so I'll end up making 10 ovens, and then have to go back and make a load of bricks again, and then you will definitely stop the video, because there's only so much of a lunatic you can watch. Okay, there's the our oven. Let's add that to the crafting window. Let's create. Right, great. Let's add that to the crafting window. Let's add. Uh, oh. Right, okay, you see, I've had a break. I've completely lost the plot again. I don't know what it is I've got to add. I think it's that. Let's try. Yep, there we go. Okay, I am sorry for waffling on for so long at the beginning of this episode. Uh, I didn't realise, mind you, I'm, I'm tree beard junior for goodness sake. Of course I was going to waffle for ages. I just didn't realise it was going to be that long because time doesn't appear to be that long to me. Right, okay, that's all the clay done. I don't know why I've still got a load of clay, but hey. 
I think this episode's a mad panic, actually. But I'll get back into the rhythm of it soon enough. Okay, and there we are. A glorious oven. Let's step back and take a look at it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at the dynamics here. Was it feng shui? Look at the feng shui of this. I've got all my fields around me and my forest I planted. I've got my loom, which is made out of the wrong wood. And I've got my BSBs and my storage bin. This is perfect. Oh, yes, absolutely perfect. Right in the middle of my fields. Right, okay. Enough of me gloating over my perfect oven, which I will need to imp up because it's going to be really low quality. Yeah. Let's now switch to the Wormpedia, wrap up this episode by reading off all of what it says on Wormpedia with regards to the oven. Okay, description. An oven made from stone bricks and clay intended for cooking and baking. Well, that has to be the most obvious statement ever known to man or beast. A stone oven is a fire container best suited for cooking and baking, but can also be used to heat up ore. You're not going to wake up one morning and say, right, let's put all my ore into the oven and heat it up in there. Because if you do that, when you heat the ore up, it's going to lose all of its quality levels. That's why you would never use an oven to heat your ores up. You will always use your forge and you will never use anything else once you've got a forge for heating your ore up. So there we go. That's why you would never be that silly. Okay, so, but uh, can also be used to heat up or make pottery and so on. Yeah, we we done that already, didn't we, in a previous episode, like a campfire and forge. So there we go. Just a quick mention about that, though. Never heat your ore up in the oven because it will lose a huge amount of quality level when it turns to lumps. Okay, so improving. For improving the oven, you need rock shards and your stone chisel. And just to mention, um, last but not least, the uh, if you make a rare oven, it apparently it heats up quicker and you will do better quality meals. All right, I'm making that quality meals bit up, but it's apparently it heats up quicker. That's what with forges and ovens, they if they're rare, they heat up quicker. Um, one other thing to mention is the notes regarding the oven. Oven adds less difficulty to meals than forge. Yes, vice versa. Like I said, you'll never eat your heat your ores up, eat your ores up. No, heat your ores up in your oven because they'll lose their quality level. You should never make your meals in the forge um, because it will affect it the same way. You won't get good quality meals out of the forge you will only get the you'll get your best quality meals out of the oven so there we go for the sane people out there that's what you need to remember you can load an oven onto a wagon and you can load the forge onto an oven just to mention that okay that's it for the notes so there we go i hope uh, i've not made you endure too much of my waffling and not subjected you to too much of my madness but uh, i've got a feeling you must like a little of it for you to still be around anyway so in the next episode we'll actually get to cooking and um, over the next few episodes we'll be touching on cooking brewing brewing making beverages We'll be milling and grinding and baking and we will be making milk and dairy products and making cheese. Loads of episodes and loads of fun. So, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last single one of you safe. Have a fantastic day and thank you for joining me. Goodbye. <laughs>